What is up guys and welcome back to another reaction video. Today we have Nuke's Top 5 with a brand new video. Top 5 Scary Ghost videos to creep you out. Yes. Now I can't wait. Nuke's Top 5 has been dropping bangers lately. So yeah, this is going to be a banger. I know for sure this is going to be a banger. Without further ado, thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for watching and thank you for getting scared with me. Now, let's get right to this reaction. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Next to five. Five scary things caught on camera. Opening a doorway. Okay. Let's Hello go. Colin Hero from the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film claimed Omagatoki. that a real estate agent reached out to them concerning a house that he found extremely difficult to sell. The okay. agent says okay. that the house once belonged to a family of three who mysteriously went missing in 2013 leaving behind all of their personal belongings in the house. Yo. The current owner is desperate to sell. He believes that there's a dark presence inside the home and wants nothing to do with it. They he left absolutely everything refuses behind? to go inside the home or even get close to it. And all of these strange stories about the haunted house have kept buyers away as well. Tomo and Hiro say that the real estate agent and the owner reached out to them to find an explanation for the creepy alleged haunting inside the family home. When the two go to investigate, the current owner warns them to keep the doors closed at all times. Yo, why? But he doesn't explain why. <laughs> Uh, must be scared to let something out. Yo, that is weird. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, close that door. Heeding the creepy warning, Tomo and Hiro respect the owner's request and close each door behind them whenever they step inside a new room. Yo, if a man the gives you a warning, investigators immediately get the sense that something about the house is just a bit off. Okay. I'm looking at the back. Everything is glass. <laughs> I feel like something is about to happen. All the clothes are still there. Yo, that is creepy. Strangely enough, Tomo and Hiro discover that many of the closet and cabinet doors are half open, contradicting the strange warning that they got to leave all the doors closed at all times. They don't think much of it and just continue their investigation. Okay, but okay. Did you see it? No, what, what, wait, what, what, we Tomo missed it? Tomo and Hiro are completely unaware of what they just captured on camera. But watch again. Okay. Yo, are those feet? No way. Someone or something seems to be standing right behind the rack of clothes as two bare feet can be seen underneath. But the investigators just don't notice. Yo, it's hard Soon to see. Soon the two explorers begin to hear a strange ringing sound that they believe to be coming from the home's quote, altar room. A room that is dedicated to Buddhist prayer and sometimes houses altars meant to honor the dead. They go to investigate and things take a terrifying turn. Okay, well, I'm ready. I'm ready. Metal is ringing again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I don't hear the bell. Just move the Okay, I'm looking for feet. They left everything behind. Electrical stuff on the floor. The altar is complete. Okay. So that's the sound of the bell. Yo, they left the door open. They left the door open. No, no. Uh, close it now. Close it. He closed it. Oh, wait. Is he convincing himself? Or did he actually close it? Yo, close that door. Oh, oh. Uh, it was his hand. Okay, okay. I'm scaring myself. I ask again. Did you no. see it? Come on. Right after Tomo and Hiro enter the altar room and Tomo is closing the door, a pair of feet can be seen once again, but this time much closer. What makes the footage even creepier is that only moments earlier in the same spot, there was nothing there. Whatever is in the home with the two investigators seems to be following them. And then when they turn their back, the sliding door seems to open on its own. Hiro decides to do a solo investigation in the altar room in the hopes of capturing any paranormal activity. He sets up a static camera and then just sits in the dark. In the and dark? Waits. After 30 minutes, nothing has happened. So Hiro gets a bit bored and decides to go Yo. check out another room. And this is when things get truly bizarre. Okay, okay. Yo, this is... Okay, okay, he's closing the door. Okay, good boy. Good boy. Th this is too damn dark, okay? No, that... Probably because there's a ghost over there or something. <laughs> that... That wasn't him? Or his friend? Yeah, that sound was a door closing or open opening. Mm, okay. I'm telling you, Nukes is getting better and better. If I see a couple of feet, I'ma go yeet. Yo, something is following you. That's the reason why you close the doors. So that entity or whatever it is can't get you. Or at least you get a warning. Okay. Yo, this this is spooky and creepy and all of the above. I am watching. That was a Oh, hey, 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 slow it down. Come on now. There is somebody, yes. Punch through the damn door. Yo, where did he go? Oh, this is like just in the games. Yo, call for your buddy. Hero hears a sliding door move on its own and he discovers that the door to the altar room has once again mysteriously opened on its own. The investigator hears the bizarre ringing sound again and when he turns around, he sees the creepy face of something staring back at yep, him through yep. the sliding door. Hiro gathers his courage and approaches the door. He opens it, and the face disappears into thin air. The face went There's left. There's no one there. 
So the no hero one on is captured there. Chernobyl evidence of a haunted home? Could it be the restless spirits of the family who mysteriously disappeared? Let me know what you think. Wow. You can watch this entire video over on the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film. It stares Yo, that back. was the first one. In a tiny town on the outskirts of Wagoner County, Oklahoma. Reddit user Shout out, Oklahoma. 1640 and a friend are cruising down a deserted road in the middle of the night in the middle of nowhere. They approach a long abandoned house that Reddit user Livid Excuse 1640 says has always seemed a bit creepy and has been sitting deserted for many years for unknown reasons. Yeah, it looks abandoned. On a whim, he takes out a battery operated spotlight and decides to shine it right into the windows of the abandoned house. Okay. The guys, spot something downright chilling. Okay, what's that? Let's go. The first one was already terrifying. That got me on edge. There it is. Okay, there's the White House. Wow. That's a big house. And that's a big flashlight. <laughs> Yo, is that a face? Yo, go, 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 Yo, go, 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 go. On camera, Was that a face? A pale, creepy face that seems to appear from nowhere, peeking back at them from the darkness inside the house. Even when hit by the bright spotlight, the white face appears to have no recognizable features. When they realize what they are looking at, the guys hit the gas and speed away from the abandoned house. Reddit user Livid Excuse 1640 says that he's visited the house before and okay. it appears that whoever used to live there left in a hurry. Okay. So what do you think this is? Is it something paranormal? Is it just a strange trick of the light? Or is there something in there? Let me know down below. Yo, could be all of the above, but it could also be like the head of a mannequin, which is on display over there in front of the window just to scare people. I think that's what it is. Maybe. <laughs> All right, let's go. Number three. Scary people, places, and things. Okay. Now, this next video was sent in to me privately by a Nukes Top 5 viewer, but the source is unknown. All I know about the video is that a couple is out hiking through the Romanian woods when they spot something terrifying in the distance. Okay. One of the hikers pulls out a phone and starts to record. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. Yo, wait, wait. What is that? Hey. It's watching, okay. In the video, the two anonymous Romanian hikers wonder aloud whether, quote, they released it. I can only assume that they're referring to the strange pale figure in the video that looks like something right out of a nightmare. But I'm honestly not sure. Just looks like the walking dead. This is. Could it be something paranormal? A creature? Or just a very bizarre looking person clad all in white. I leave it up to you to decide. Looks like a drug on female. day in Voronezh, Russia, a grandfather and his grandchild are enjoying a day out walking in the fresh air. They decide to stroll down one particular city sidewalk. That's cute. And it turns out to be one of the worst decisions of their lives. That's now, in bad. In accordance with YouTube guidelines, let me point out beforehand that absolutely no one was hurt in this video. Okay. But it was very close. It was, it was very close. Oh, look at that. Trying to learn how to ride a scooter. Yo. 
the hell? Yo, Grandpa that was and his close. Grandson escape an incredibly tragic fate by only a split second as a large chunk of concrete comes hurtling down from a building oh. above. The two are unharmed and so is the woman passing by. But what really makes this footage so terrifying is the fact that this was an intentional act. It was? It turns out a group of inebriated Russian teenagers found their way onto the roof of a tall apartment building. They then deliberately threw this large block of concrete off the roof with the intention to hurt someone terribly. No way. Later in the footage, these same teens can be seen admiring the shattered pieces of concrete. Despite the video evidence, these teenagers were never caught. This footage just goes to show that sometimes people are much, much scarier than any. Yo, they should have been locked up. They should have been in jail. Okay? If you do that intentionally, you deserve to be locked up. That's an attempt for murder. Okay? If that boy and grandparent was like one nah 10 seconds uh 10 seconds later to walk away mm. i don't even want to know what would happen i don't even want to know that's a shame man anything paranormal frank from the youtube channel franco tv goes on a very creepy exploration through an abandoned grand hotel in montgomery alabama all right, Frank, Frank plans to perform a ghost hunt, but little does he know that the large building he is about to explore is now home to something much scarier than ghosts and apparitions. It turns out that a group of aggressive and dangerous homeless squatters have taken over the abandoned building. As Frank Maybe starts it's the his same ghost people hunt, from the video things before. soon take a very frightening turn. Okay. I gotta be careful. Yo, squatters could be aggressive. Because to so them, somebody. you're invading their private place, their home, you know? Okay, that's one. No, this is just like The Last of Us. Sneaking around, having ne nothing else than a water bottle to distract them. Yo, you gotta run. Yep, close. Oh, there's one. Wherever Frank goes, he keeps running into potentially dangerous squatters and just barely avoids confrontation. Even though he's somewhat aware of the danger, Frank still continues to explore. Okay. But he has no idea just how close the angry squatters are watching him. Oh, I'm literally really? For other locations here that I haven't recorded just yet, but because there's so many people here, I have to be extremely careful and cautious at what I do. Because the last thing I need to do is get robbed, mugged, or anything. But this place is huge. It's like four buildings oh, in one. Okay, yeah. Yo, yeah, there's, there's one behind you, man. Frank is distracted by unexplained sounds and is talking to his camera when he passes one of the hotel room windows. To his viewer's horror, a hooded man can be seen standing right at the window. Yo, yeah, that is creepy. staring at Frank as he goes by. At the time, Frank is completely unaware of the danger he's in. So he just keeps on filming and exploring with no idea of what he just encountered right next to him. Yo, now obviously I this is not that one of Franco happen. TV's usual paranormal videos. In fact, if anything, it might be even scarier. Watch this full crazy exploration over on the YouTube channel, Franco TV. Even though this is not paranormal, Reaching it's still creepy and freaky from beyond. though. Popular Chinese ghost hunter Xiao Long Xiao is exploring Long. an allegedly haunted location in a small village on the outskirts of Xinyang, China. This time Xiao Long is investigating a sprawling farm where a large extended family used to live. Locals claim that years ago they would often hear screaming and shouting coming from the farm. 
They say that the head of the family, an elderly man, had a very bad temper and was often cruel to his family. Yeah, that's one the older one, generation. His grandchildren moved away from him to the big city. His family never returned. Individually, the old man passed away all alone inside his farmhouse. Shaolin wow, is recording okay. a live stream as he explores the farm grounds all alone. At first, he finds strange talismans on and above many of the farmhouse doors, suggesting okay. that someone has been there to try to ward off evil spirits that might haunt the property. All right, let's go. <laughs> Your daddy's here. Yeah. All right, I like this guy. Kicking doors, swearing, burping. You were telling you, my little fool. Tell us, man. Okay. I know, like, over there, they have those, like, things that you can stick on the wall and doors and everything. Tell us, man. Yeah. Damn, okay, okay, okay. Okay. That was not supposed to happen. What's wrong, you ma? <laughs> a large wooden sorry, door suddenly drops from I the have ceiling to laugh and barely that. I don't misses Xiao Long. Now, this could just be a very strange coincidence caused by a loose board in a very yeah. decaying house. Maybe. But what happens next is a lot harder to explain. Not over his shoulder, right? Not over his shoulder. Cotton threads, okay. Okay, the sound stopped. Something is about to happen. Okay, the window. What a, yep, 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 yep. Okay, 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 okay. No, that was not the wind. That was not the wind. Two windows fly open and the exit door slams shut. A yeah. little freaked out now, Xiaolong runs outside to calm himself down. Eventually, he gathers his courage and heads back inside. He soon finds a room cluttered with old furniture, personal belongings, and boards from the caved-in ceiling. Okay. What happens next is downright chilling. Okay, okay. Let us go. Music is stopping. What's in the mirror? I don't know what to expect. Yo. Hey, what the? What the? Yo, wait, 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 wait. What was that? What was that? What was that? Is that an alien? Is that an alien? Nah. A terrifying pale face can be seen watching Xiaolong from the other side of a window. When he checks it out and opens the window, he only finds a small clay pot right where the face appeared. But this was absolutely not just a simple optical illusion. You can see by comparing the pot and the face in the window. It's almost as if this strange face turned into a pot. Now that might make no sense, but no, this no, will not, not be really. the last time we see a creepy unexplained clay pot. So stay tuned. Xiaolong explains that he now feels something very sinister in this place. Okay. A little later into the investigation and he finds something very creepy. Again, we see a clay pot. 
Now okay. I reached out to Xiaolong to ask him about these strange pots, especially this one sitting on top of a covered cellar door. He explained to me that in China, occasionally clay pots like these are used to store the ashes of the deceased. The red cloth okay. underneath the pot is placed there to ward off evil spirits. Oh, but that doesn't stop our boy Xiaolong. So that was a spirit on the at the window. And the spirit was like, what's up, man? Here's a pot. I don't get it. Maybe it means that the entity lives there or something or fell down and died. No, the other pot looked way different. Yo, keep the cloth there. Don't touch it. What? 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 No, I did it move. Yo. You shouldn't be doing that. You should not be doing that. Now you opened up the gate to hell. Now, look what you've done. Yeah. That spirit must be living there, bro. The, the music is getting intense. And I don't like it. I like it, but I don't like it. I'm, there's gonna be a head popping out of that cellar and you gotta get scared and we are all gonna get scared yo hey wait hey 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 yo. what are you, are you throwing rocks what are you doing <laughs> Yeah, you unlocked hell, okay? You unlocked it all. That's right, level up, you're now in hell. That entity is coming home with you because you broke that pot, okay? You opened up the cellar, you're like, welcome, a well entity. Break in his car, welcome to my world. Back in alone Be free, one final time. haunt me. And That's what you're saying. Destroy what he now believes to be a cursed clay pot. It did not go well. Come on, man. You know better than that. Come on now. You shouldn't be doing that. Why? Is that to make the entity afraid of you? Yo, 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 what? Hey, I saw something. That was a hand. That is a hand. Yo. But why is it next to the cellar? Yo. Yeah, now you're scared. A pair of hands seem to reach right up out of the ground, searching for... Yo, more? The horrifying event is caught on live stream by Xiaolong and his online viewers watch in terror. He finally makes a run for it and just gets out of there. So, is the abandoned creepy farm haunted by the malicious spirit of the old man who was left behind by his family? Let me know what you think. You can watch this and yeah. many more creepy videos I of Xiaolong's investigations with English subtitles over on his YouTube channel Outdoor Xiaolong Disappearing Act. Oh, we got one more. Paranormal oh investigator Alberto How long from is the YouTube video? channel Alberto Damn. Darko 34 travels minutes? to a long I love it. warehouse I love it. in Mexico. Locals claim to have no explanation or idea of what this location was used for or why it's abandoned. Many suspect that the structure was used for horrific illegal activities, such as hiding or disposing of the remains of the deceased. Some believe that this dark activity might have left the warehouse extremely haunted 
and most people prefer to stay far away from the creepy site. Okay. Those who have dared to explore the creepy location claim to have witnessed shadows, heard ear-piercing screams, and some even say that they have fled from the sound of footsteps that seem to be following them, getting closer and closer. Yo, that Together is with his messed two cameramen, up. Alberto that is messed up. Arco goes to investigate the alleged haunting. It doesn't take long before the guys begin to hear strange sounds and witness some very frightening activity. I want to do some investigations myself. That would be... I don't know if it's going to be fun, but it's going to be scary. Gas can, okay. I will be too. Pudiera haber gente, ¿eh? De pronto pudiera haber personas que se meten. Al parecer ya se han robado yeah, partes. Yeah, maybe some squatters or something. De este sitio se ve algunas zonas quemadas. Some parts are burned. Okay. A heavy gas can slams to the ground as if thrown from somewhere nearby. But that's not the only creepy thing that happens in this clip. Oh? Did you see it? No, no. Right above Alberto's head, oh! a dark shape can be seen quickly peeking out. But when they go to check inside the room, there's no one there. Alberto and his team are completely unaware of what they've just captured. They continue their investigation of this strange warehouse, but as they explore inside, the cameraman captures something absolutely shocking. Okay, let's go. I'm looking over to the right, through that hallway. I don't know why, but that keeps... That keeps me interested, because maybe there is something that we might miss. Oh, it's getting lower. Okay. Baja muy rápido, baja muy drástico. Okay, music stop, music stop, music stop. ¿Qué fue? ¿Qué fue? A ver, puede haber gente, eh? Atrás de ti. Oh. ¿Qué fue? ¿Qué fue? Oh, what was that? ¿Qué fue? A ver, puede haber gente, eh? Hola. ¿Lo tienes con tu cámara? Yo, you got it on tape. ¿Lo, lo tendrás con tu cámara? Hola. Pero eso está muy alto, ¿no? Digo, ¿cómo nah. para brincarle? It's not that high. I think. Lo veo algo alto. Por ahí hay escaleras, mira. Yo, if you're scared, you will jump that. As the camera turns down a hallway, what looks like a pale, creepy figure can be seen quickly darting yep. out of sight. When the team hurries over to investigate, they discover just how high the area is above the ground. It's not something that high. Been peeking around that corner, it would have had to be at least seven or eight feet tall. Okay. A little later into the investigation, and the three friends witness something then else. Then it's, it's that probably is a little bit high, yeah. Bizarre. But you could jump that though. I hear dogs. A ver, hay alguien ahí parado, no? Allá, 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 allá. Yo what? ¿Qué fue eso? ¿Qué fue eso? ¿Qué fue eso? ¿Qué fue eso? Yo shine a light on it. Allá. A ver, con cuidado. Con cuidado, con cuidado, con cuidado. Keep your camera on it. Shine your light on it. Hola. Hola. Buenas noches. ¿Qué pasa, amigo? Ok, yo no sé ni para dónde ir. Tú ve, tú ve para allá, Tony, yo creo. Ten cuidado, Memo. No, it's, it's gone. It's gone already. Nothing algo, opened. Tony? It's just gone. ¿Se salió? Güey, yo vi a alguien parado. Güey. Vi a alguien parado ahí. Yo, we all saw that. Sí. Ok, temperature went down. Ok. Cerca. Alberto and his team watch as someone seems to walk away from them. Yeah. At first, they believe this is simply a stranger who is also exploring the factory. But when they reach the area where they saw the dark figure of a man, again, there's just no one there. No, and the gate didn't Cut open. Cut to a bit later, and one of Alberto's cameramen claims that he sees something move in the brush. Okay. Okay. No entiendo, pero pareciera que hay algo aquí. Digo, tal vez... In the brush? Es que no or in the bush? Esto, pero pudiera haber algún tipo de... ¿Qué, güey? ¿Qué, qué, qué, qué? ¿Qué, ¿Qué pasó? ¿Dónde? ¿Aquí? Pues a ver, alumbra un poquito para allá. Yeah. 
Shine some light on it. What's what's that? Yo, a a a a. What is that? And what is that beeping noise? Things just get more and more absurdly bizarre. Yo, something grabbed that. Hand seems to reach out from the darkness yeah. and grab what appears to be either a cloth or an old paper. Yo, just what so, I thought. Did yeah. the team capture evidence of paranormal activity at the mysterious warehouse? That I don't know. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? The rest can be squatters. You decide. You can watch this full video and many Very more creepy squatters. investigations over on the YouTube channel, Alberto Del Arco. Dang. Okay. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter here, on Instagram there, and on TikTok right there. Yep, 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 See yep, you yep. next week. Damn. That was a creepy one. That was a terrifying one. I think Nukestop5 topped his previous video. I think this is the most terrifying video of Nukestop5. Now. This one is my, my number one. The previous video is my number two. Damn, that was, they were, this was a good video. Okay, I'm stuttering all over the place. I don't know what I want to say, but this was a good video. Okay. Now, but yeah, guys, this was it for today. If you enjoyed the video, then hit that like button. All right, subscribe, subscribe if you're new and hit that post notifications bell to not miss any single upload that I do. All right, see you guys in the next video. Peace.